In this video, I'm gonna be showing you seven steps to help un your trading. This is gonna help you immensely in your trading journey. I promise if you stick around to the end, you're gonna have a better understanding of how to become a better trader. If you're new to this channel, my name is Mac and I've been trading for five years now. And these are all things that have helped transform my trading, taking me from zero to 100 and beyond. I'm still growing, obviously. I'm not where I wanna be every single day. I'm trying to get better, but still these seven tips are what have helped transform me into the trader I am today. Number one is gonna be remove all timelines from your head. Okay, I know this is easier said than done, but just a little backstory on myself. When I first started trading, I was looking at social media all the time, like you probably are. I mean, it's everywhere, right? We got Instagram, we got YouTube, we got TikTok, we got so many different platforms that we see traders and traders that are where we wanna be, traders who are below us, right? But a lot of us focus on the traders who, where, who are where we wanna be, right? And it can be very, very easy to compare our journey to someone else's. And it's very, very important that we remove the timeline. One common question I've had on this YouTube channel over the last three years is how long did it take for you to get profitable? And this question is a dumb question. Not the fact that you're asking it, but you're expecting that my journey is gonna be the same as yours, right? And then the reality is, your journey is gonna be different than mine, it's gonna be different than your neighbor's, it's gonna be different than the next person you see on social media. One of my best friends started trading three years ago. He's already almost a funded trader with FTMO. Three months ago, that's insane. That took me years to get good enough to, to go for FTMO. And I have other friends that it took seven months. I have other friends that it's taken three, four years to find success. So everyone's journey is gonna be different. So remove the timeline and just focus on yourself. That's step number one. Let me take a minute to talk about one of the best new prop firms in the industry, Think Capital. Think Markets, a fully regulated broker, has entered the prop space. This is huge for us traders. With over 15 years of broker experience and regulation, this gives us another prop firm we can trust. We can trade right from TradingView or you can use the classic MT5. With up to 300k in max allocation and they also offer to us clients i know this is amazing news to my american trader friends you can even withdraw your profits right to your think markets broker account if you use the code arm trading you will get 15 percent off any challenge please make sure you sign up and create an account then at checkout the code will work the code is also case sensitive so make sure you type it in exactly how it is shown let's get back to the video number two is find a strategy that works and stick with it don't get the shiny ball syndrome. Trust me, we've been there. I've been there so many times. I would have been so much further along years ago in my trading journey if I just stuck to a strategy, you know? Once you find a strategy that works for you, for you, because my strategy may not work for you, maybe it will, someone else's may work for you, maybe it won't, find something that resonates with you, resonates with your personality, it could be day trading, it could be swing trading, it could be scalping. Once you find success with that from back testing and you know that the strategy is consistent, then you just stick to it. Don't watch any more technical videos from people. Once you have what works, stick with it. That's something that destroys so many traders because they start working on something and they find success and then they'll see this person post a YouTube video and they're like, oh my God, this person made a thousand bucks in an hour. I'm gonna go trade this way now when they already had a strategy that was working. I don't watch any technical videos myself. I don't watch any strategy videos myself because I have a strategy that works for me. But when I was learning and I didn't have success yet and I didn't have a strategy that worked for me yet, then yeah, of course, I was I was browsing, I was looking for courses, I was looking for uh, YouTube videos on how to trade, on how to become a successful trader, because I wasn't there yet, because I didn't have a strategy yet. So once you find that, don't shiny ball, put the blinders on and just test your strategy and consistently get better and better and better with your strategy. Number three, it's gonna be journal your trades. Okay, this is extremely important because for my first couple of years of trading, I did not journal my trades. I would trade throughout the week, show up on Monday, trade throughout the week. And if I won that week, I didn't know uh, what I did. If I lost that week, I didn't know what I did because I didn't have the trades there where if I had a winning streak, I can go look at the common similarities. If I had a losing streak, maybe I was doing something different. But if you're, if you're not tracking your data, if you're not tracking your trades, you don't know where you're going wrong, right? And that's why data is so important because you can know where you are going wrong, you know where you're going right, and you're able to grow from that win or lose, you're able to have that to get better, to develop and to continue to progress, right? Like it's very, very important that you have this, okay? So if you're not yet, go on Notion, it's free. Literally take screenshots of your trades before and after and underneath, you can write a description of why you took the trade, any lessons, the result of it, the time of day, all that stuff. You can go add all that stuff in there yourself. It's super, super easy. Or you literally could just put a screenshot of your before and a screenshot of, of after and then go on to the next one. That way, at least you have screenshots of what you're doing, okay? So that's number three. Make sure you are journaling your trades and collecting data. Number four, this is massive. This is so massive, guys. Oh my, I need to take a pause for a second. Because a lot of you 
neglect this. And I used to neglect it too. And it ran me into the ground. It literally dark time in my life, dark time in my life because I was not sleeping. Okay. So proper sleep. Number four, have a proper sleep routine. Try and make sure you're getting seven to eight hours. Now I know there are some of you who are where I was before you had a job and you had to get the time in. Okay. I understand that there are going to be some of you that fit that criteria where you just don't have enough time in the night to get the proper sleep. And that's in your grind phase. But once you do, once you are, you know, along your journey and you have your strategy and you know what you're doing, it's very important that you guys are getting proper sleep. Okay. Extremely important because proper sleep is going to help you perform better, right? We are mental athletes at the end of the day. Trading is mental athletes because we have to be so switched on here, right? In order to make the best decisions every single morning, because some of you are day traders in the morning. Some of you day trade in London session. You're waking up at 2 AM if it's not your session. And how are you supposed to make critical decisions with bad sleep? You know, how are you going to do that? So if you have the ability to have a proper sleep routine, please do. And what does that consist of? Getting seven to eight hours of sleep, no phones before bed, put your phone down and just visualize how your next day is going to go. Maybe visualize about the things you're grateful for, but put the phone down. Okay. This is massive. This is going to impact your sleep huge because if you're looking at the blue light, it's just going to keep you up at night. And if you're sitting there, scrolling on Instagram, scrolling on TikTok, you're not going to fall asleep. The dopamine is just constantly being drained. You have to remember that those apps are designed to keep us on. So if it's your bedtime, close that shit and get ready for the next day ahead of you because you need to be ready to go. You need to be primed and ready for your morning session. Okay. Or your night session, but making sure you are well rested. You are a machine and this is our GPS, right? This guides us through the day. It guides us through situations. And if this isn't working properly, or it's tainted or it's broken, then you're not going to perform better on the charts, right? Number four, make sure you're getting a proper sleep routine. Number five is have a hobby outside of trading. This is huge, massive, massive point. Okay. Because looking back on my journey, the times I'm doing best in my trading are when I'm able to disconnect from trading. This is super important because I have friends who have quit trading now because trading was everything for them. They were obsessed. They were doing all this and then they didn't know what to do with their time and they would just over trade and they would end up quitting, right? Because they didn't know what to do. They just literally jumped in full force and would trade literally all day long, all night, trading all three sessions, just crazy stuff, right? So making sure you have a hobby outside of trading can help transform your trading because you're not focused on it all the time. You have your window of when you're trading. Okay. And this is for obviously when you're first learning, there's going to be periods of this where you are just full force in, right? but there's gotta be periods where you are also enjoying your life. Okay. And that can be going to the gym. That's a hobby that you can have that can take your mind off of trading. Say you have a good trading day, forget about it because tomorrow's a new day. Say you have a bad trading day, forget about it because tomorrow's a new day. And it's easy to forget about things. If you're going to the gym, if you're working on another project, like for me, the mornings I trade. Okay. So now that I'm day trading again, I trade in the mornings, right? Or I'm checking the charts in the morning for the arm trading community, sending markups, doing whatever I have to do. Then I trade, then after that, I focus on my businesses. Okay. Or I go to the gym. Those are my hobbies that allow me to pull myself away from trading good or bad and move on with other things. Right. And then I'm able to get proper rest and wake up that next morning, well-primed, well-rested, ready to tackle my day. So making sure you have a hobby outside of trading is massively important and things such as going out for a walk, things of going to the gym, right? Little things like that, that are going to help you become a better person. They're going to put you in better shape as well. Because what do you think is going to happen if you're in better shape? What's going to be moving better? What's going to be thinking better? Your brain, your brain's going to be working better. The gears are going to be moving, turning. You're going to be all oiled up, right? But if you're just getting bad sleep and you have no hobbies outside of trading, you're going to run yourself into the ground. Trust me from personal experience. Number six is going to be invest into a prop firm account. We live in the best times to be a trader because we have access to prop firm capital. Okay. And prop firm capital is going to allow us to trade with higher amounts of capital that we didn't have for a small investment. Okay. So hundred K challenge can be 500 us 200 K challenge can be over a thousand bucks, but then you pass the criteria, you pass the challenges, and then you have access to those funds and you're able to make money as if you had those funds. It's a crazy good opportunity. The two that I use are think capital and FTMO. Those are the only two that I use right now. But once you get to a point in your trading where you've had all the other things, uh, in this list dialed in, you have the successful strategy. You're getting the proper sleep. You have the timeline removed from your head. You're journaling your trades. You're, you're collecting data on your trades. You have your hobby outside of trading. Everything is in alignment and you are starting to find success with trading. Then yeah, go for the prop firms because you are able to use these prop firms to build capital 
and build profits to then fund a personal trading account, which is the name of the game at the end of the day, okay? Number seven is have undeniable self-belief that you can do it. This is massive and probably the most important thing out of this whole list. Because if you don't have that undeniable self-confidence in yourself that you are gonna achieve what you need to do or self-belief, who's gonna do it for you? You know, when I was learning on my journey and losing and losing and losing and struggling to find consistency and getting my butt beat all the time, I believed in myself and I'm the one who picked myself up from those tough moments. Because if you don't believe in yourself, no one's going to. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be your parents. It's not gonna be your friends. It's gonna be no one else but you. And yeah, there's gonna be some people who believe in you and that's amazing, but it has to start with you. Because the vision is mine, so how could they see? How could someone else see my vision, right? People are gonna start believing in you based on results. Maybe they see you going out for dinner more often. Maybe they see you going on trips often, right? You don't have to be flashy and showing this and oh, I'm making this and this and this. That's not what I mean at all. But your lifestyle is gonna change. Your life is gonna change because you are finding consistency in the markets. You're developing as a trader, you're developing as a person because you had that self-belief in yourself. And when you start learning, traders, if you're new here, if you're new to this channel, if you're a new trader, you're not gonna have the results to um, have that confidence. You're almost, what's the word I'm looking for? Delusional optimism. You're a delusional optimist because you're almost delusional that you're gonna find success in it. You believe it before it even happens. You're believing it while you're getting your butt kicked every day. You just trust that you're gonna get there. And yeah, just having that confidence is so important, having that self-belief is so important and it's what got me here. It's what got me here talking to you guys. It's what got me to post that first YouTube video three years ago on my channel. You guys should scroll down and watch that video talking about when I quit my nine to five. You can see a video on there of me filming myself literally after I handed in my two weeks and it's crazy because to see where I am now is just crazy. So take the leap, have the self-confidence in yourself and uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did make it to the end, please smash that like button hit subscribe and comment something you would like me to talk about next. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. So what do I say at the end of every single video? Let's be 1% better every single day. I appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next one.